What's up guys, welcome back. Summer is officially here and that means it's hot outside and we don't have time to be slaving away over a hot stove. So today I'm gonna to show you a quick and easy 30 minute meal. This is my recipe for chicken marsala. But before we get into that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we need to prep our chicken. Today we have one and a quarter pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast. This is gonna make about four portions for about $11. Pretty cost efficient meal here. You wanna take your blade. We're gonna butterfly this chicken. So just slice right on in the side like you see me doing right here. And just kind of use your fingers as a guide. Obviously keep them out of the way of the sharp object, but we just wanna butterfly this. If it kind of breaks off a little bit, it's no big deal. We're also gonna flatten it out so it cooks evenly. One portion, two portions, repeat that same process. Three portions, four. Next up guys, we're gonna flatten these out. Basically, we just want them to be nice and even. So typically you would grab some saran wrap. I don't have that, so I'm using parchment paper here. It'll still get the job done. Grab your heavy object of choice, preferably a meat mallet, and take out all your frustration. All right, my friends, so we got a nice even chicken breast to work with here. We're gonna go light on the salt because we're using my seasoned flour for this recipe. But if you're not, then go ahead and season it how you typically would. So first things first, we're going down with some Italian seasoning. Nice even application of that. followed by a real light amount of cayenne just for a little subtle heat on the back end. And then a light application of my all-purpose seasoning. This is a low sodium product, so I'm cool with using that. Flip it over, show the same love to the other side. And that's what we're looking like. All right guys, so this is a very light dusting of flour. We have my seasoned flour here. Go ahead and season your own flour. If you don't have this product, you can hit it with some salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, things of that nature. We got a few other spices and unique flavors in there, but if you're doing this at home without that, then just season it however you would like to. No egg wash required. We're just gonna hit it with a nice light coating. Try to make sure that it's you know even though. You don't want any bald spots in there. About like that. Shake off any excess. We'll let that hang out while we prep all of our other ingredients. But you don't need to you know waste a whole bunch of flour here, guys. So probably about a cup of flour will get the job done for four chicken cutlets. All right, my friends. Next up, pro tip on how to clean your mushrooms. Or I guess the pro tip is to clean your mushrooms. I like to get a damp paper towel, put it in a mixing bowl like this, and then we just add our mushrooms in there. Mushrooms uh, typically come from the store pretty dirty, so you just wanna kinda give them a good little scrub. Make sure you get any stuff off of there that you don't wanna eat, like so. And then we'll just set them aside as they're clean. What you don't wanna do though, guys, is like run them under water or submerge them in water because mu uh, mushrooms tend to act like a sponge and they'll get waterlogged and like kind of retain all that moisture. And that's not really what you want. All right, so here we have eight ounces of mushrooms. On this side, we're gonna prep our shallot. This is a super big shallot. So we're gonna use half of it. Almost looks like a potato. It's a nice rough dice on the shallot. It'll cook down nicely. It's gonna add some great flavor. You can use an onion too, guys, if you don't have a shallot, no big deal. All right, so next up, it's time to get the party started and actually start cooking something. So we're going in with about a fourth cup of good quality olive oil. You can use avocado oil if you want, but traditionally, obviously for an Italian dish, they're going with olive oil. That's what we're using today. 
and I'm gonna toss in two to three tablespoons of butter as well. Because why the hell not? Butter makes everything better. So the goal here, my friends, is to shallow fry these chicken cutlets until they're golden brown and beautiful. Partially cook them, basically. Then we're gonna remove them and then cook our mushrooms, our shallots, make our sauce, add the chicken back and let them finish cooking in that marsala sauce. The heat's not too crazy. We're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken. Make sure they all got some elbow room in there so they can breathe. Let's give them about three or four minutes per side. So after a few minutes, you should be looking like this. Go ahead and flip it over. Beautiful golden brown color. All right, so we strained off a little bit of the oil, but we're gonna leave enough to coat the bottom. There's still a lot of flavor in there too. We wanna use that flavor to cook our mushrooms. I turn the heat down so you don't burn yourself when you go dropping the mushrooms in there. I suggest you do the same, mushrooms and the shallots. We just really wanna cook these down so the mushrooms begin to caramelize a bit, get nice and tender. We'll season them up. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and season this up. I'm going in with some chicken bouillon powder amplify the flavor a bit. You can use the better than bouillon base if you want to, but this is a little easier for me. A little touch of Italian seasoning. A good tablespoon or so of garlic. I'm gonna throw in some fresh thyme that we'll fish out a little bit later. But this is just gonna add some nice fresh herb flavor. And I'm also gonna hit it with some all-purpose seasoning. Immediately that garlic and thyme got the situation smelling good. Your folks upstairs will be coming down asking when dinner's ready any minute now. Time doesn't take much time, I should say, to insert a corny joke. Um, so you can go ahead and fish that out after like a minute or two. Or if you don't want to be lazy like me, you could, you know, chop it up and just use the leaves. But... I just want to get the aromatics in there, add a little bit of that flavor, and then we just fish out the thyme sprigs. Try not to burn your hand along the way. But there we go, we got a nice, beautiful color going on the mushrooms. Now we're going in with a half cup of good quality Marsala wine. Increase your heat to high so we can cook that wine off, let it reduce. Beautiful color going. After a minute or so, once that reduces, we're gonna go in with our chicken broth and then finally our heavy cream. In goes the chicken broth. Let that come back up to a boil. Let that roll for a minute or two, then add in the heavy cream. So once that's cooked down a little bit and reduced, we're going in with a quarter cup of heavy cream. If you wanna lighten this up, you can use whole milk or half and half. Your sauce may just not be quite as thick. So at this point, we wanna let this simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna add the chicken in after about five. Before you add the chicken though, you wanna taste it and make sure the flavor is spot on because once you add the chicken in there, you're pretty much done until you, you maybe add a little finishing salt when you plate it up. As a little bit of a cheat code, you can add just a pin drop of browning to give it a little bit you know, darker, richer color. Totally up to you. You could also use some dark Japanese soy sauce as like a umami flavor enhancer. We're gonna add some parsley now, save the rest for garnish. And you got yourselves a beautiful marsala sauce. One of the other things I like to do is just add a little tablespoon of butter towards the end. Just let that kind of melt down into the sauce. 
Last thing we need is a little fresh black pepper. And then in goes our chicken. Any accumulated juices are fair game too since it's gonna finish cooking. No flavor left behind. If you wanna spoon a little bit of that sauce on top, I wouldn't be mad at you. I would actually encourage you to do so. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and plate this up family style. Can't forget the sauce. Don't be shy with that. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do my friends is get in there for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell so they have notifications as well. All right guys, time for the moment of truth. You can plate this up with some pasta, over mashed potatoes, over white rice, cauliflower rice for my keto folks, whatever you want. But I know I need both of those pieces, that's for sure. Here we go. Mm. 